you don't know what's going on in the middle. And all kinds of things could be happening in the middle. People could be getting better, they could be getting worse, and recovering. You just don't know what's happening or what's happening. Okay, now the other, the other thing, now they, they did this, right, because um, they mean, oh, they did different scales. Um, they did these to screen out the people with dementia, so they actually, they weren't, they weren't up to show anything about the connection between sensation and memory to start off with. But of course, you know, you get, although, you know, you get variation, as always, you do get um, younger adults generally having better memories, although, I mean, clearly the, you know, the means are down here for the young people, but uh, are a little bit lower. You've got these kind of, some spread. But a lot, as you might expect, for a lot of different reasons, a lot of the, the issue is coming from older people sort of thinking lower in this distribution. So that's that. A lot of this is you don't have young people slipping down in this range where you get a pretty sizable difference. This, this is important even places where you're not going to see it in this level of detail. Because it, it's always kind of an interesting question whether you're assuming that the old people are different from the young people because everybody who's old has a significantly worse memory than the corresponding person in the young distribution. Like you could have a situation where like your smartest older, older adult has a worse memory than your smartest younger adult and your most forgetful older adult has a worse memory than the most forgetful younger adult. When, you, when you've got distributions more like this, or in some ways, like, uh, you know, people going down. You've got like, you're going up more, you're like high frequency touch, the smell kind of stuff. You start to wonder, these would take you in the direction, maybe they really are age effects. When you've got clusters down here, you can start to wonder about whether most of the effect that you're seeing is actually due to some of the older adults the temperature here really being significantly worse. And then you'd want to know why those older adults? With, with memory, it very well may be something like preclinical dementia. Even though they did the screening, they probably used criteria that would only pick up people with fairly clear cut dementia, and you're going to get people that are the start of the slide, maybe, but there could, and there could also be other reasons. Depending on how old your sample went, I mean, if these were all people up in their 80s, say, you know, that would give you a different kind of answer. So when you, when you see these kind of uh, distinctions and distributions, can really give you different ideas about what might be going on. It might point you to a different kind of focus on what you want to do to people. So anyway, nothing surprising about the different the age difference in the numbers. And um, this is kind of interesting from the standpoint. They're saying here, here's your, your they did test retest correlations across the four threshold tests for each of these modalities, and you can see the taste and smell and the sense of coolness are all really high, they're like 0.7 up. High frequency touch is really high. Um, high frequency hearing, almost perfectly reliable. Low frequency hearing, sort of middling. Low frequency touch, actually not very reliable, so it's actually sort of interesting that you get any effects at all at that, that low level we test reliability. So people over time are showing a pretty wide range in their abilities to detect uh, really low frequency uh, vibration stimulation. And this is probably the like, most interesting finding. As you look at the correlation coefficients, it turns out that memory correlates pretty high with just about all of the fresh sensory threshold things. 
uh, with the exception of low frequency hearing, which of course wasn't in effect anyway, in most of it, but kind of moderately with temperature and, um, and low vibration touch, but still, it's still significant and still probably most people in the field. And you know, if this had ever crossed your mind to wonder about it all before you took this class, you probably wouldn't have expected that people's hearing would be correlated with their memory. I would have bet against it before this study came out. Um, and this leads into, this is one of the early pieces of it. This, this study is about 10 years old now. This is one of the earlier pieces that has become